is Hannah Christina Seth. Today I'm going to talk about um, interdisciplinarity and prehistoric archaeology in uh, uh, Romania. Uh, the aim of my uh, paper is to explore the history of interdisciplinarity in Romanian prehistoric archaeology and its role in shaping archaeological research from 1918 until today. Why 1918? Because this is the year when um, uh, Romania became uh, a state after the collapse of the um, Austrian, of, after Austria-Hungary, and uh, um, my re my paper will focus on uh, especially on archaeobotany, archaeozoology, and computational um, archaeology. Uh, for uh, preparing this paper, I used uh, uh, I especially used 20th century and 21st century scientific publications. Uh, focusing on the main archaeological journals of the time and on uh, monographs. Um, in uh, the development of interdisciplinarity in Romania, I managed to identify largely four main phases of development. Uh, the first one is from 1918 until 1970, and this is a period of collaboration. Uh, the second period is from 1970 until uh, 1989, um, and this is a period of uh, multidisciplinarity. Uh, the third period is from 1990 until 2000. It is a period of pluridisciplinarity and interdisciplinarity. And the fourth phase uh, starts in 2000 and lasts until uh, present times, and it is a time of interdisciplinarity and pluridisciplinarity. So uh, there is more interdisciplinarity than pluridisciplinarity. This is why I put it this way. Um, I call the period from the first phase of development, that uh, which uh, spans from 1918 until 1970, the period of isolated uh, attempts. Why? Because collaboration with specialists from other fields was occasional and mostly remained isolated. And these collaborations did not influence archaeologists' interpretations concerning a certain site. Uh, the results were just additional information. Uh, in the case of botanical remains, for example, archaeologists became more interested in recovering them only towards the second half of the 20th century. And uh, archaeobotanical uh, investigations were done by botanists, agronomists, who did not have any connection with archaeological fieldwork. And their work focused on the identification of species without any further interpretation on the relationships between humans and plants. And very often, their determinations uh, were uh, wrong. So botanical and zoological remains in this period were mostly considered to be less important than pottery or tools, for example. And many archaeologists were skeptical, skeptical about collaborations with our dis other disciplines uh, and the information that uh, these could uh, bring. The second period uh, spans from 1970 until 1989, uh, which is the year when communism uh, collapsed in Romania. So um, uh, this is the period when archaeomet archaeometry starts to develop in Romania uh, in a systematic and more organized way. And the investigations focused on dating, fellow environment, and conservation. Especially three fields developed in this time, archaeozoology, archaeobotany, and computational archaeology. Uh, I'm going to talk about each of them, and uh, I'm going to present uh, the key specialists in these fields who actually contributed to the development of these fields, um, the institutions uh, to which they belonged, and uh, very brief biographical information uh, because um, there is something common in the biography of each of them. They each had, they each had key research stays uh, outside Romania, and these re re research stays actually influenced their careers. So when they came back, they actually started working on the fields, in the fields, uh, in the research lines in which they specialized outside Romania. So for archaeozoology, we have two women. Uh, uh, Alexandra Bolome and Olga Nekrasov. Uh, uh, the, first, um, the first picture is uh, that of Alexandra Bolome and the second one that of Olga Nekrasov. Uh, Alexandra Bolome worked at the Vasile Purvan Institute of Archaeology in Bucharest and Olga Nekrasov at, uh, at the Faculty of Biology. So they were both um, 
Organic Council was a biologist and um, Alexandra Bolomei a zoologist. I'm going to talk, I'm mostly going to talk about Alexandra Bolomei. Um, she was a zoologist and during her uh, bachelor's studies, she started participating in <coughs> archaeological um, excavations. That was in the early 50s. And after graduating, she started working at the Institute of Archaeology in Bucharest and then at the National Museum of Archaeology. Um, during her work in these institutions, she continued to participate in archaeological excavations. And in 1972, she goes on an ar archaeological expedition in Greece, which, which was conducted by English archaeologists. And after this expedition, she returns to Romania and starts promoting the idea of pluridisciplinary research in archaeology, which should include specialists from various fields. So she published her ideas in an article, New Approaches to, Re to Research on Prehistory in Romania, which was very innovative at that time. And she also started to use ethnographic analogies to better understand the relationship between humans and the environment. Uh, however, uh, most of her observations contradicted uh, the uh, interpretations of um, the most important archaeologists of her time. So the results of her archaeological investigations were not incorporated into um, archaeological interpretations. Uh, these were mostly considered an addition, and they completed the conclusions of archaeologists. So archaeologists continued to prefer the traditional kitchen lists. And this not only happened with archaeozoology, but as you will see, it also happened with archaeobotany. Um, in the case of archaeobotany, uh, the uh, key specialist is uh, Marikund Kirchumaru. He is the one who uh, deeply contributes to the development of this uh, field in Romania. And um, at that time, he worked at the Vasile Purvan Institute of Archaeology in Bucharest. And uh, then, after 1990, he moved to the University of Turgovishta. Uh, Marin Kirchumaru became interested in archaeobotany in the 70s after a research stay in East Germany. And it is here that his German colleagues convinced him to take up research in the field of archaeobotany because nothing was uh, known about it um, in Romania. So he received his training in Germany. And when he comes back to Romania, he, started, he starts studying a large uh, amount of archaeobotanical archeobotan samples, and he reevaluates previous determinations, and he identifies many, many mis mistakes. And uh, in 1989, he, he finishes his first book called uh, Paleoethnobotany, uh, Research on the Prehistory and Photohistory of Romania which was finished and forwarded for publication to the Romanian Academy of Sciences, where it remained for four years due to lack of funds. So um, his research was also uh, quite difficult to accept by um, uh, the leading archaeologists of the time. And he mm -hmm. uh, managed to publish his uh, work, his book in this case, with his own uh, money. So um, in several uh, biographical uh, uh, fragments, he mentions the difficulties that he uh, faced uh, during his youth. Um, then we have archaeological informatics, and the key specialist in this field is Gheorghe Lazarovic, who at that time worked at the National Museum of the History of Transylvania, and he also collaborated with the Babes Boya University in Cluj Napoca. He is the one who introduces statistical and mathematical modeling as well as databases in pottery processing in Romania. And in the early 90s, he develops a, soft, a software called Zeus, which was used for pottery processing. And it is still used today by his former students, despite the fact that the software really needs updating. Uh, his interest for these, uh, uh, for mathematical and statistical modeling, develops after thorough collaborations with English archaeologists. Uh, archaeologists and such an archaeologist is, for example, John Nandrich from the University of London, who is an English archaeologist of Romanian origins. And in 1974, John Nandrich uh, leads an expedition to Romania. Um, he was searching for obsidian sources uh, in the mountainous regions of Romania, and uh, then he also leads an ethnoarchaeological expedition to Romania. And uh, this time, he also incorporates Gheorghe Lazarovic in his uh, team. So Georg Lazarovic introduces um, 
um, the, he, the new information he acquired during these expeditions into Romanian archaeology, he lectures and publishes about them. And he also teaches his students to use software in archaeology. Uh, many of his students are part of a generation that is now in its 40s and 50s. Um, he coordinated a large number of PhD theses on statistics and archaeology. He collaborated with physicists, geologists, and computer scientists. He even created a department of archaeometry within the, within the National Museum of the History of Transylvania. He organized conferences on archaeometry, and he was the first editor of um, the journal Archaeometry in Romania. Uh, so the three scholars whom I presented were young and enthusiastic in the 1970s. They had research stays outside Romania, which significantly enriched their knowledge and training. And these re research stays were turning points not only for their careers, but also for Romanian archaeology, bringing many innovations into it. So they established contacts in these countries, developing a strong academic network, which continued to facilitate their access to literature and collaboration in international projects. Um, their students benefited from this network, and these students had also research stays at the, research stays at the same institutions and further developed the network of their professors. Uh, the period from 1990 from two, uh, until 2000 is a period of a new beginning. Uh, after the fall of communism, there was a general feeling of enthusiasm in every discipline. So new universities, faculties, departments were founded or reopened. And most of, them had a, most of these universities had a faculty of history. And several interdisciplinary research centers or institutes were founded within these new faculties and even within the museums. However, in many cases, these uh, institutions were interdisciplinary only uh, with their names. Um, the previously presented specialists had a great contribution to the, creation, to the creation and development of these faculties, and several of their students and close collaborators were appointed at these universities and continued to work, continued the work of their professors, trying to make archaeological research more interdisciplinary. And uh, collaboration with other countries was, uh, and after 1990, uh, free and open, and this had also a, a strong, uh, a, a great importance in the uh, development of um, interdisciplinarity in uh, Romanian archaeology. So the period from which spans from 2000 until today is um, a road to uh, interdisciplinary, to actually interdisciplinarity, and I think that um, this uh, sticker very well um, characterizes this time. Keep calm and stay on track. Um, Romanian archaeology is much more interdisciplinary today, and the results of um, uh, such researches are properly, properly incorporated into interpretations. In the last 10 years, several Romanian handbooks for archaeologists have been published on archaeobotany, sedimentology, mineralogy, and uh, there is even a yearly congress called Archeovest, Interdisciplinarity in Archaeology. However, there are only a few persons in Romania who specialize uh, in um, the fields that I've been talking about. And most investigations are still uh, conducted by foreign specialists who most often are uh, the members of international teams working on excavations in Romania. And um, the presence of these teams boosted and boosted the interest of having more Romanian specialists as well. So we have now a phenomenon of migration, and uh, many students who begin their studies in uh, Romania um, go abroad and receive training uh, in the fields that I've been talking about. Most of them, however, do not return to the country, but they still collaborate with their former, uh, former Romanian professors. Conclusions. So archaeological research in Romania started to become interdisciplinary only in the late 1990s. Before 1990, we can mostly talk about collaborations, uh, that is between 1918 and 1970, and pluridisciplinarity from 1970 until 1989. In Romania, pluridisciplinarity was and still and is still often confused with interdisciplinarity. Uh, international relations and projects, especially with Germany and the UK, were and are still essential in shaping pluridisciplinary and interdisciplinary archaeological practice in Romania. So thank you for your attention.